In this video, we're looking at some of the uses of fractions in everyday life. So we'll cover how to find a fraction of something, like finding two-fifths of 15 kilos, and how to express one thing as a fraction of something else, like writing 90 pounds as a fraction of 210 pounds. To find a fraction of something, like two-fifths of 15 kilos, we write the 15 kilos as a fraction. So turn it into 15 over 1, which we're allowed to do because 15 divided by 1 is just 15. So we haven't actually changed its value at all. Next, we have to multiply the two fractions together. So 2 over 5 times 15 over 1 which means 2 times 15 divided by 5 times 1, or 30 over 5, which is 6. So the answer is 6 kilos. Let's try another one. In this question, we're trying to find 3 quarters of 1,200 pounds. So the first thing we need to do is write an equation of 3 quarters times 1200 over 1. Then to multiply them, we do the 3 times 1200 to get 3600 as our numerator, and divide that by the 4 times 1 to get 4 as our denominator. So the answer is 3600 over 4, which is just 900 pounds. Now, to write one number as a fraction of another number, like 90 pounds as a fraction of 210 pounds, we just put the first number over the second number to make a fraction. And then we simplify the whole thing down as much as we can. So here, we'd do 90 over 210, and then simplify it by dividing top and bottom by 10, to get 9 over 21, and then by 3 to get 3 over 7. So 90 pounds is 3 sevenths of 210 pounds. In this next question, we're asked to express 40 as a fraction of 16. And the first thing to notice here is that 40 is bigger than 16, which means that our fraction will be bigger than 1. So it'll have to be an improper fraction, or a mixed number. But this doesn't make any difference to our workings. So the first step is to put 40 over 16 to make a fraction. And then we have to simplify it. So we could divide top and bottom by 8 to get 5 over 2. And that would be our final answer. Anyway, that's everything for today's video, so I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you again soon.